let us draw a triangle and name it as triangle ABC. Let's measure the side AB. AB is 20 centimeters. So its midpoint will lie at 10 centimeters. Let's call this point as D. Now D is the midpoint of AB, which means AD is equal to DB, right? Let us also measure side AC. It is 14 centimeters and its midpoint will lie at 7 centimeters. Let's call it E. Again, E is the midpoint of AC, so AE is equal to EC. Now let's join the two midpoints. What we are actually doing is trying an experiment to see if we are able to verify or come up with some result. Now, I just want to check this angle, angle DBC. This is 40 degrees. Let's write it over here. Now, let's check this angle ADE. This is again 40 degrees. That means these two angles, since they are forming a pair of corresponding angles, DE is parallel to BC. Well, that's a great result. Now, this actually means that if I just join the midpoints of two sides of a triangle and make a line, that line will be parallel to the third side. Nice. Let us also see if there is any kind of relation between this DE and BC. So, let's measure DE now. DE is 10 centimeters and BC is 20 centimeters. DE is exactly half of BC. That's again another good result. So, the question is, is this going to be true for every triangle? Yes, this will be true for every triangle and that is what midpoint theorem is. The midpoint theorem states that the line segment joining the midpoints of two sides of a triangle is parallel to the third side. Now, although we just verified it by manually taking a triangle and measuring the sides and angles and everything, let us prove it mathematically too. For that, we need a triangle. Let's call it ABC. And we are given two midpoints. D is the midpoint of AB and E is the midpoint of AC. So, this is all what is given to us. And we need to prove that DE is parallel to BC and half of BC. Only if, you know, I was given some measurements over here, we could do that easily. But no measurement is given. Also, I want DE to be half of BC. If I just extend this line in such a way that it becomes equal to BC and, well, we can use congruency of triangles as well because we have one triangle and the good thing is that AE is equal to EC. So, we can make a triangle here. We already have one corresponding sides equal. So, let's do that. Let's see. Let us draw a line from C which is parallel to AB. So, I am drawing CP which is parallel to AB and extend this DE so that it intersects CP at F. Now, we have two triangles. Triangle ADE, the green colored triangle and CFE, the blue colored triangle. Since CP is parallel to AB, we constructed it that way, right? And AC is the transversal here. So, this is making a Z shape, which gives us that this angle A of green triangle and angle C of blue triangle, they are equal because they form alternate interior angles. And this angle DEA will be equal to CEF because they are vertically opposite angles. And we already have AE equal to EC, right? since E is the midpoint of AC. So, these two triangles are congruent by ASA criteria, angle, side, angle. So, since these two triangles are congruent now, that gives us AD is equal to CF. Also, DE will be equal to EF. Okay, but, 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 AD was already equal to DB since D is the midpoint of AB. So, that means DB is equal to CF2. Okay. Let's look at this quadrilateral DBCF. Over here, we just proved that DB is equal to CF 
and DB is parallel to CF as well. So DBCF becomes a parallelogram. Because if in a quadrilateral we have one pair of opposite side equal and parallel, it becomes a parallelogram. So if this is a parallelogram now, that means DF is parallel to BC. These are opposite sides. So a part of DF will also be parallel to BC. That means DE is parallel to BC. We got one result which we wanted to prove. Now we need the measurements basically. We just want to see that DE is half of BC as well. The very first thing is that DF is equal to BC because they are opposite sides of a parallelogram. And DF can be written as DE plus EF. Correct. But EF is already equal to DE. So I can just substitute DE over here. So DE plus DE is BC. That means twice of DE is equal to BC and thus DE is half of BC. We got both the results that we wanted to prove. Let's do one question based on it. We are given a triangle ABC and D and E are the midpoints of sides AB and AC. BC is given 14 centimeters. We need to find D. Since we are already given two midpoints, we can comfortably use midpoint theorem here. Since D and E are the midpoints of AB and AC respectively, according to the midpoint theorem, D will, DE will be parallel to BC and half of BC. BC is 14. So DE is half of 14, that is 7 centimeters. 